Oh, what's up guys back in another video and today we've got a team update my team has changed drastically since the last time you guys saw it so we're gonna go through it and uh, yeah so let's get into it alrighty so we've got two team of the years we've got two of the new 94 I uh, style icons so we're gonna go through my team and you guys are gonna have to rate it out of 10 in the comments below uh, so first line 93 McKinnon 92 Matthews and 94 Rantanen uh, McKinnon I think is one of the best cards in the game uh, he's just just I like his build. I like his speed the way he just puts it on his forehand I feel like I score much more goals uh, with his forehand than you know Ovechkin or other righties uh, And he just has great synergies as well with spark so makes him even faster and with wheels So just unbelievable card this guy is if you guys can pick him up his 94 that just came out or you know uh, any version of it uh, of his uh, Then you guys should because he's really good next up 92 Matthews been on my team for you know, almost the entire game He's honestly insane, as you, as I say pretty much every time I make this video. Uh, but now he's up to 92, so plus one upgrade since the last time. And, uh, you know, he he's insane, honestly. He does everything I want him to do. Uh, and he's got Distributor, makes him faster, so great card. And Rantanen, who went up plus one since, you know, his, actually, his initial Tamir came out. Uh, so he got plus one on the speed category. And he was uh, he's pretty good for me. Uh, you know, he's... I feel like his shot's a little underwhelming, but aside from that, you know, he's great at protecting the puck, great at all that, and I feel like he's a very good card for my team with also Distributor and Spark, and the fact that he has double synergies makes it even better and more worthwhile, and with wheel, so very good card. Second line, Jack Eichel, Tyler Sagan, and Matt Duchesne, gonna be a 99 on the team eventually once he scores one more goal. Uh, Eichel, like I said, a little bit underwhelming on his speed category, but 93 kill, 93 speed, he should be good, and he's actually been tearing it up a bit lately uh, for me. He doesn't have great synergies, but he's a great card, 6 2 2 13, great up protecting the puck, he's a very good shot, and he just works well with, uh, with how I play. Next up, Tyler Sagan, who's played 6 games for me, 5 points, he's not as fast, I feel like that's like the theme for a lot of these cards are not as fast as their stats say, which is, you know, unfortunate, but he's, he has a very good shot, very good at protecting the puck, and uh, he's just, he's a big body out there, good at faceoffs as well with Thief, uh, so honestly, a very good card, if you can get him for under 400k, uh, I'd say that's pretty much a steal, uh, as he's probably going to go up once he's out of packs, and finally, Matt Duchesne, who, like I said in every video, I feel like he's not as fast, but he's still, like, he's not as fast as McDavid, but he's still very fast and probably one of the fastest players on my team. Uh, his shot is still not great. Uh, I just feel like maybe maybe it's his tape. Like his tape job is honestly shit. Like I just don't like it. It's like a Jimmy Ben tape job. And I, I don't know if it makes him look worse. But it's a theory. But I, I really don't like his shot. He's pretty much just there for the speed. And uh, you know the fact that he's going to be the first 99 in the game. Uh, next up on the third line, we've got Shane Wright, Sidney Crosby, and Patrick Kane. Shane Wright is honestly a very good card. I think he's better than uh, Jack Eichel. He, he's only 92 excel and 90 speed, and he just has an insane shot. On, he scores a lot of those far side aristers, uh, you know, with me. And uh, like obviously the points don't show. There were 12 points in uh, 32 games, but I just feel like when he has the puck, he's very agile. And he's just very good with the puck. And I really like his cards. If you guys can pick him up, he might be going for around 100k or something like that. But I think he's a very good card. So if you guys can, uh, I'd for sure say go for him. He can also play center with 82 face off. So not bad. And he's got 90s across the board offensively. So a very good card for me. Next up, Sid the Kid, who's kind of getting outdated with uh, the lack of uh, upgrades he's been given. Uh, with only 90 kill, 90 speed. But he's still a fabulous card. 89 face off, 90s across the board offensively and defensively. He's a very good card, uh, and you know I just can't wait till he gets more upgrades to make him even more faster and just better in general. Next up, Patrick Kane, who been getting downgraded from line to line. He went from line one just like a month ago to line three, and uh, you know he's a great card. He's fast. He has a good shot. He scores a lot of goals. He puts up a lot of points, but I feel like just his overall is lacking. Uh, I did upgrade him, and he does have a, I think he still has another tier to reach, or two tiers to 91, uh, but, you know, they're just very expensive, but he's still going to be on my team for a while, he's very good, and I really like his build in-game, uh, and, uh, yeah, he's honestly a great card, I've had him since the beginning. Our fourth line, I don't think it, it's changed, like, for the past month or so, Giroud, uh, Kirby Doc, and Ricard, Raquel Freak card from Christmas, uh, Giroud, like I say every time, just doesn't play like a stat show, Doc, very good at protecting the puck. He has a decent shot, and he's just a very good center. Uh, and Ricard Raquel, just 
he's there for synergies and he's not that bad honestly uh, with Spark and Distributor, which I don't even need, but you know, it gets him a plus two uh, on speed and acceleration, so he's honestly not that bad. But the fact that they're all righties kind of pisses me off, and I just don't feel like spending money on a guy who's going to be sold, you know, after this, uh, champs or whatever the case may be. So that's my offense. Next up on defense, we got Larry Murphy and Sergey Gonchar. Uh, so Larry Murphy is honestly going to attempt to sell him uh, because I got this beauty, 94 Carlson. Uh, but I decided to get rid of 87 Makar instead just because they're more alike and, you know, uh, I, this guy's more of a, you know, two-way bigger guy. So if I did have Makar and Carlson, I just felt like my defense was more like an offensive defense. Second deep pair, which honestly should be the first deep pair, but it's Eric Carlson and team of the year, Victor Hedman. Uh, I'm probably going to put out a video of, uh, like, how to manage your lines or how to like make the greatest lines like considering their height and all that so I'll make I might make a video uh, probably this weekend or maybe next Monday or Tuesday uh, on that and I think it's gonna help you guys know how to actually make your lines better and not like you know all five foot nines on the same line so I'll put my insight on that but Eric Carlson offensive D-man with the defensive defenseman works very well he's very fast he's not as fast but yeah so the offensive defenseman and the defensive defenseman just work well together uh, for me and Carlson uh, he's been he's good with the puck he's pretty fast uh, I haven't had a chance to shoot much with them but uh, you know I've only gone into eight games of champs won them all and then we got Tim the Air Headman 6'6 223 uh, he's got two for distributor two for workhorse uh, so you know you get that speed boost uh, I got him on quick pick and take the tape which I'm probably gonna take out once you now I figure out my team uh, and shut down for two, which is very good. Uh, he's 90 excel, 91 uh, speed, which is, you know, it's decent for a guy with 6'6. Uh, but, you know, as he gets his upgrades, he's going to go higher and higher. He's, he doesn't score a lot of goals, obviously, because he's more of a defensive defenseman. But he's good with the puck. Uh, I can protect the puck very well with him. And he's actually quite speedy, uh, you know, when I go up on the rush or whatever the case may be. But honestly, he's there for defense, does a great job. And uh, just Hedman, Hedman is Hedman, right? Every year, he's the same thing. He's a monster on the ice. So. Uh, yeah, Hedman, Team of the Year, and 94 Carlson, a great combo. And next up, we got 89, Roman Yossi, who's honestly a very good X-Factor for me. He can go up to 90 and gets that speed boost as well, but I'll do that, uh, you know, one day. Uh, he's got Light the Lamp Distributor and well rounded with wheels, so he's pretty fast, uh, even though the stats don't show that, but I just really like his card. Pair with Paul Coffey, more of an offensive defenseman. I was thinking about taking him out for Carlson and keeping my card so I could have two, uh, like, a, a righty on every deep pair. Uh, but I just felt like Coffee he's going to get an upgrade and he's going to keep getting upgraded. Might as well just keep him on the ice and keep him on my team. He's also got wheels, so, you know, it makes him even faster. And, uh, you know, he puts up the points, plays well offensively. Does obviously points not there, but he, I just feel like he plays very well on the ice. And I just rather lefties than righties, uh, you know, as a whole. Uh, so... I'll always take uh, the lefty before the righty, especially if he's got better stats. So, uh, yeah, that's my defense in net. Does not change. We got Jake Ottinger, but we do have uh, X Factor carry price to be packed. Uh, so, you know, if I ever want to upgrade him, put him as a starter, I might do that. But it's just so expensive to upgrade an X Factor. And, like, I already have an 89 Jake Ottinger, who's probably one of the best goalies in the game. So, I don't know if it's worth it, but anyway. Uh, we've got Light the Lamp, Distributor, Sparkle Around, the Gladiator, Thief, and Workhorse. So, three speed synergies. Uh, and my Workhorse is only on one guy, and it's on Headman, so that's pretty funny. Uh, but, yeah, uh, my team's pretty much stacked, I'd like to say. Uh, like I said, I probably just need one left winger and one uh, top left D or a right-handed defenseman and a right-handed winger. I just feel like they're hard to come by. But yeah, that's my team. If, let me know what you guys think about it. Rate it out of 10 in the comments below. And I guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for new round here. I'll see you guys on the next one.